The internet has revolutionized work for artists and the media. Filmmakers, for instance, can show their productions on the web and find a worldwide audience. Elif Eda, a Turkish filmmaker, is reaching people on YouTube with her web series called Ödülaj. Thanks to the internet and social media, filmmakers and video artists have new media to share their work. Web series are becoming popular because they not only allow filmmakers a cheap and easy way to show their work, but they also give them freedom to produce in whichever format they want to. Elif Eda, a Turkish filmmaker, is one of them. Her web series called Ödülaj debuted last year. It's about a woman in her early 30s who just moved back to Turkey after living in the US for years. The episodes are about five minutes long. They're funny, they raise questions and explore issues. And above all, the series will never be unexpectedly cancelled. That's only one of the perks of making a web series. She calls it too real to be pretty, and we're going to find out why. Joining us on Showcase is Elif Eda, web series creator of Ödülaj. Hello and thank you for joining us. Hello, thank you for having me. So, what exactly do you mean, too real to be pretty? Okay, so, um, I've been waiting too long for this mm -hmm. <laughs> question. It's just, you know, I'm presenting two new characters to the media, mm -hmm. actually, and, um, and they are, they have been, presented in a certain rhetoric, a certain discourse, in a certain way. And what I'm saying is, um, they are not that images. They are more than those images, and they are not going to be always good, pretty, or whatever you're expecting. This is something that you're not expecting, and reality is this way. Mm -hmm. It always surprises you, right? Mm -hmm. So why do we like web series so much these days? Well, I think it's... Uh it has many reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, it's quick. Sure. Um, it takes not that much time. Mm -hmm. You can watch it everywhere, even from your phone, right? Or like even from your tablet, I don't know, whatever. Uh, and also, the range of it is um, very, very rich. You can find, you can find many topics. And it's much more sincere to be, to be honest, there is no distributor, so there is no choices of the distributor. Instead of that, it's directly from the creator to the audience. Mm -hmm. So it's very sincere. And I think the audience feels that sincerity. And another, to me, another reason is, it's, about, it's always about identities, social mm -hmm. identities, cultural identities. So people are curious about that because they mm -hmm. also have many, many identities, mm -hmm. right? So I hear sincerity and freedom. What else motivated you to do a Ödülaj? Well, so many things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, first of all, I was new here in the sense that I just moved from New York to here. I was making short movies there. I had a network and everything was, you know, like a sweet American dream. Then I came back here and I had no network. And it was quite hard to find the right partner for yourself in terms of business. Uh, and then I realized I don't have to wait for someone to give me an opportunity. I had internet. Uh, so internet itself motivated me to make my dreams come true. And also, I know that, I mean, I could sense that there, there is a potential out there who is not quite satisfied from what they are getting. Uh, from the media right. uh, and many many people who I got in touch with uh, they kind of motivated me saying that that's a cool idea we actually would watch it and they did watch it thank you. thanks to them um, and that's that's and that, that's I guess. That. yeah 
Well, now if we have the fourth episode of the series lined up and ready to make its world premiere here on Showcase, let's take a look. Okay, so what's next for you and what would you like to achieve with this project? Well, I, I have um, maybe a crazy idea uh, for some people. Uh, I am planning to have 10 episodes of this kind, like four or five minutes of episodes, and then um, present a feature length Ojular episode. So that um, most probably it's not going to be the first feature length movie out there in internet, but it's going to be premiered in the internet and I want to show, hopefully, that you can also use internet as your own, you know, um, theater. Mm -hmm. You don't, you know, you don't need to go and like pay someone to show your movie. So that's my plan for Ojular. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping by this project I could develop more and more projects for internet. Mm -hmm. Well, creator of Ojilar, Elif Edal, thank you for joining us on Showcase. Thank you.